it's like, if you just gave Satan a Facebook, it would achieve the same thing. You'd be able to ask questions and um, get information from Satan if you just gave him a social media account. Like, why can't you just do that? Huh? How long has the internet been around? But here's the thing, too, is that, like, people... Um, I don't think... I don't know if people are necessarily ready. Well, I think they are. Because, <sighs> I mean, if... if Let's say, let's say they gave uh, Satan the ability to just come out on social media tomorrow. Like, do some Facebook Live or some YouTube Live stuff and just um, answer everybody's questions in a Q&A. The whole, like, like, magic behind satanic ritual abuse, like, there is no way to get rid of it. But there is a way around it. Give give Satan some social media. Let him use let, let let him use the internet. What is what's what's so wrong with that? And then he can clear up a bunch of stuff, all the misconceptions and stuff. Like Alistair Crawley was a real piece of shit, you know. Um, and I'm not condoning anybody to like become a Satanist, but I think it's important to know my experiences and to know my firsthand account of actually speaking with Satan. And interacting, and I want people to know that Satan has empathy, Satan has compassion, Satan has um, wisdom, Satan does not condone child abuse. Like, people who do satanic ritual abuse, um, they're doing it for their own sick pleasure, they're doing it for their own pedophilia, they're doing it for their mental illness, they're, it's just stupid. And even Satan thinks satanic ritual abuse is stupid, so there's that. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah. what else? Um, and yeah. I think that's it for now. I'm kind of having a mental block, and I, I need to get some are. water. But thank you for listening. Um, I'm going to keep making videos today over by Best Buy in Mission Valley. And she was, um, like, I could tell it was her job as, like, a maintenance person to be, like, picking up the trash in the parking lot or whatever. But I saw her on, on her golf cart, and I just came up to her, and I gave her 10 bucks. And I said, hey, have lunch on me. And so I think it's really important to just keep that cycle of giving going. And um, it feels very good to know that there are people out there who appreciate what I'm doing. They appreciate what I'm talking about. You're a fucking whack job. Of course, now this was made after the video that you were just looking at. I'll post both the links. Both actually made in the same day. I think it's a few hours apart. Can you describe this meeting in great detail? Thanks. Sure, yeah. So the first time that I ever met Satan was when um, Donald Marshall took me to meet Satan when I was a child. And they had, the Illuminati had Satan, like, in this room over off to, like, if you're walking down the main hallway of the cloning center in Canada, if you look to your left-hand side, there's going to be a hallway at a certain point, like, perpendicular to the main hallway. And this leads to a bunch of rooms that hold um, <clears throat> really, really strange beings. Um, in a previous video, I referred to them as monsters. Um, some of them are definitely like they have no place in society or the world in general. They're like, there's just no use for them because they're just like this weird being of destruction, and it's just better to keep them contained in that, in that, um, in a quarantined way, but, um, so the room that they kept Satan in was just, like, completely black, and, like, entering the room, um, looking over to the left-hand side and the left wall, it was just, like, a square room with high ceilings in the, um, underground part of the cloning center, and, um, <clears throat> all the walls and floor were painted black, and up against the left-hand wall was sort of, like, this, um, dark, like, throne that Satan would sit on. And so I just remember, like, 
Satan, uh, like, shaking my hand and stuff and just meeting me and, um, like, just making sure that I wasn't scared of him. And, yeah, like, um, yeah. I've never been abused by Satan. Satan no. has never hurt me or um, done anything wrong to me. It's been the evil men, the evil people who have committed satanic ritual abuse. Like, do you understand the difference there? Like, evil Freemason relatives who assembly line raped me and murdered other children. Like, um, Satan is against all of that, and it needs to be known. Um, needs to be. And people who say that I'm lying, I'm not lying. You can fill me up with sodium triopenethal, turn on the camera. You can give me the most high-tech and absolutely definitive, like, $2,000 lie detector test. I am not lying to you. Like, can you feel the conviction in my voice? Because I am not lying to you. And if everything that I'm telling you is just too much, well, you know, excuse my French, but tough shit. Um... You're going to find out that I was telling the truth the entire time. And so, you know, God bless you. Uh, all I can do is pray for the people who hate me for just speaking the truth and talking about my experiences. So, if you think I'm lying, let me ask you this. Were you there? No. <laughs> so then you're talking out of your ass and you're just spewing out hatred that you're going to regret doing no. later. But you know, that's between you and God. Like, <laughs> God isn't everything. God isn't every molecule, every atom. And God made this, like, system, this plane that we live on. And he didn't make it to last forever. The Bible even says this. Like, oh, have you no. heard about the apocalypse? It's going to happen. Like, when people say that, like, you know, like, what, what makes Christians think that this world is going to last forever? The Bible states that it's not going to last forever. It has clearly been built to destruct at a certain... She is out of her fucking mind police department and you look up you ask for a pamphlet about domestic violence it'll it'll go into how verbal abuse is 100 percent domestic violence yeah okay so glad i could clear that up for you and yes i am as in my previous videos i've stated um i'm trying to move out of here and i'm trying to um like get rid of stuff and um god this is you're making it difficult on real SRA survivors. It's sickening. I believe something happened to you and your little girl, but not what you're telling here. Um, could you specifically um, say how I've hurt other survivors of satanic ritual abuse? Because I haven't. Um, I've given my testimony, and it's a pretty courageous and selfless thing to do. But nobody, nobody has given any proof how I've hurt other SRA survivors by giving my testimony. And I'm not lying. Um, you believe something happened to me when I was a little girl, but not what I'm telling here. Well, chilly, cold, chilly toes, cold hands. Let me ask you this. Are you admitting to being present during my abuse? Because it sounds like you're telling me that you know that something happened to me. Uh-oh. Or All were about. you not there and you're just blowing smoke out of your ass? Don't say it. Don't let her get don't let her get you in the big get cot. Get some professional help, Carly. You need it. <laughs> fucking broke the um, whack job. Professional help from who? Yourself, you fucking nut. Who exactly? You fucking crazy bitch. Um, should I go to a Satan-worshipping cabal no. therapist? I should think. I go to somebody who has never even heard about Satanic ritual abuse? Um, yeah, I think 
I might have to block you. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, Ooh, NASA down, down lies. Down. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Stupid stuff. Okay. I'm going to have to block you. You're blocked now. Let's see here. <laughs> Chili got Intelligent blocked. Solution says, people should not judge you, Carly. I know exactly what that feels like because I'm against the New World Order. Yeah. And could have been an elite, but refused. Being... Let's see here. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of really, really dumb, hateful people in the world. And, you know, I hope that a lot of them can turn it around in the next few years because we don't have decades left on and I need to um, get to working on stuff. But yeah, um, I appreciate everyone who is living the life of Christ. I appreciate everyone. That broad is out of her motherfucking tits, man. Absolutely. Fucking, a fucking banana head. Goddamn shame. I can't even fucking make up how I'd have to even do half these goddamn things. She is a fucking lunatic. <laughs> 